Today the Lord's word and mission comes to us from the Lord's spirit of generosity. He told the man with leprosy, he said, if you are willing, you are able to heal me. And the Lord said, I am willing. That's the generous spirit of the Lord. And the believers, as believers, we need to catch the God possibility, God generosity, because we sense that after a hard work of intercession, we have both through a rock and we have come to a larger space. The Lord has given us a space and we proclaim and prophesy what the Lord will do, what the Lord likes to do, what the Lord is willing to do for our loved ones, for our future, and even for those who have treated us not so well. Because we are told in uh, Matthew 5.44, we are to pray for them that persecute us, we are to bless them that curse us, do good to them that despitefully use us. If we do good only to those who are good to us, we are no better than the Pharisees, the Lord Jesus Christ said. So when we look at Psalm 73, we find the righteous man is getting very vexed by listening to what the ungodly are saying and by ruminating on how the ungodly are flourishing in their wickedness. Uh, so he goes down in his heart and gets troubled. And then he says in uh, Psalm 73, verse 15, If I had said, I will speak thus, behold, I would have betrayed the generation of your children. Speak how the nasty things he feel like returning to the ungodly. And he was stricken all day long and chastened every morning because he was ruminating and listening to what the ungodly are saying. Uh, so he began to think, it is, he was thinking, it is useless to be godly and things like that. Surely in vain I have kept my heart pure. He, he began to think like that. He did not speak it out, but it was going in his heart that the wicked are increasing in wealth and so on. Then when I pondered, then comes the turning point, 73, 16, when I pondered to understand this, it was troublesome in my sight until I came into the sanctuary of God, then I perceived their end. Then he began to understand that the ungodly get their just deserts. Then his, uh, when my heart was embittered and I was pierced within, why? Just thinking about what the ungodly are up to and why is God not punishing the ungodly. This is how his heart got embedded. He was pierced inside. I was senseless as ignorant. And then he recovers from that situation. I am continually with you. Psalm 73, 23. I am continually with you. You have taken hold of my right hand. With your counsel you will guide me. And afterward receive me to glory. So he recovers the hope of glory while going through trouble. Uh, whom have I in heaven but you? Whom have I on earth besides you? My flesh and my heart may fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. But as for me, the nearness of God is my good. I have made the Lord God my refuge, that I may tell of all your works. So, spirit of prophecy is the testimony of Jesus. So, when we are in a when we, God gives us a space, we begin to prophesy what Christ will do, what Christ can do, what Christ is willing to do, we, what Christ is well able to do, knowing that he's able to do exceedingly abundantly more than what we think or us. So let's be in that place for our children, their education, for their future, for our finances and for our nation's turnaround. Let's speak the God ability, then going on ruminating, meditating, discussing on the disasters man has done. That does not edify. If we will speak God ability, just put it on God and speak and put it as your desire that God will work like this, good for my nation, good for my relatives, salvation for all I, I know. Let's ruminate on these things. If there's any good thing, let's meditate on it. Philippians 4 says, uh, set your mind on these things that we can rejoice on. Colossians 3 says, set your affections on high. So let's change where our affections are, let's change where we place our thoughts, let's change what we ruminate upon, and let it be the goodness of the Lord, let it be the God possibility, that becomes the spirit of prophecy, which is the testimony of Jesus Christ, what he can do. God bless you and keep you.